Hey, I am so excited today with a little bit of lift tips and tricks. Um, the lift by Jane Mann is a probe and it can be used with most machines. But one of the most common questions I get is what program do I recommend it with? Well, quite honestly, um, I use it all the time with all the programs. So I wanted to go over just kind of how you would use it with more of a shallow program, such as an oxygenation, a, um, kind of like a um, refinement or something where we're filling in wrinkles and how you use it when we're really kind of building or toning muscles, trying to kind of create a plumping sensation in that. Um, before any type of microcurrent treatment, you always want to prep, prep the skin. And if you've taken the microcurrent with me class, you know how important that is and some of the products I like to use. Today, I'm adding a new product and I'm super excited about it. It's by a company, Elastin, and it's actually a hyaluronic acid, which I know I'm eating my words. Um, but a Dr. Woodrow he really went in with the chemists of the skincare company and they created a high weight molecular, like a high molecular weight hyaluronic. And it's driven into the skin by an octopeptide. So that's like an eight chain peptide. And it's driven into the dermis. Hyaluronic is known to have the skin hold on to water. And as we know, water is so necessary for the current to travel. So I have had so much fun playing around with this product and the conductivity, kind of watching the increase in conductivity with my microcurrent. So I've prepped my skin. You all know I'm a huge fan of Neogenesis. So I prepped it with um, the recovery serum and then I prepped it with my um, skin restorative skin serum. And now I'm putting on this HA. You do not need a lot. So I use about a pea size amount. And again, I always spread it between my fingertips all the way up on my skin. And I'm gonna wait a couple seconds. Um, this product also has other ingredients that go in and kind of stimulate the formation of collagen. Well, um, you get an immediate result of the plumping of the fine lines and who doesn't like that, right? Um, using the lift by J Man, you have to use a conductive gel. And after I just put all of these amazing products on my skin, the last thing I wanna do is use a dirty gel. So again, I kind of go back to this oncology safe line of Neogenesis. I love their gel for a couple of reasons. One, I know it's clean, but two, when I apply it, I don't have to keep applying layers and layers of this gel. What I find is I keep a little tiny bowl, well, it's not so tiny, a bowl of just pure water. And when my gel starts to dry out, I dip the, the lift in that, and then I can reactivate that gel. So that's a little tip on um, conductive gel. So right now I have my program set at oxygenation. Um, if you don't have oxygenation on your particular microcurrent unit, again, you can use anything that would plump wrinkles because we know this is a more shallow waveform. So it's more epidermal and we're working collagen and fascia. So if I were to be working a program like that, I can go back and forth. It's more of a flow type program. So you can see I'm treating it very, very similar like I do the Anma. And I'm really going in and this is giving the skin a chance to get hydrated and to increase blood flow. And blood flow is so important. We lose so much microcirculation as we get older. So anytime we can increase the microcirculation to the cells, we're basically feeding the cells and cleaning the cells. So yeah, I'm kind of just going over. You can see that blood flow is starting. It doesn't matter. It's um, It can be also omnidirectional. You can move it however you like. We're just trying to surfacely stimulate that tissue, bring blood flow to that tissue, kind of wake up that lymphatic system to start moving some of that congestion or pollutants out of the skin. Um, you can kind of do that around the eye area. It actually feels 
like a good bad, like if you have a lot of tension in that eye area, it can be somewhat painful, but I love to go over that corrugator rim and then obviously kind of exercising and getting the frontalis in there. Now when I go to, I'm gonna switch now to a lifting program and the lifting program is a little bit deeper of a waveform. So this is used to kind of tone the muscles and build the muscles. And anytime we do that, we want to move a little bit slower. Again, if you have been a, in my classes, they're free on Monday, microcurrent with me. Um, I always lengthen the neck muscles. The neck muscles contract every time we lift, we're contracting these muscles. So um, whatever I do, even though I'm using a build program, I'm using the waveform to actually reach the muscle and I'm lengthening it all along. And anytime I want to plump, I hold. And this is kind of the beauty of this tool is I've got eight electrodes. I can use four, I can use eight, and I can use two. And each time I'm changing kind of the current and the strategic placement of the current to get the best results. I hope this little tips and tricks helps you um, utilize the lift. If you have any questions, please make a comment below. Reach out to me directly at byjaneman at gmail.com and I'll try to keep these lift tips and tricks coming to you. If you're new to this and you would like to purchase, please look at the link below. Um, I would love to be able to help you and assist you in purchasing your lift unit.